Okay, let's talk about how we create D packs. I'm going to start off. I'm going to use Design Magic. I'll just go in here and I'm going to add this insert and remove the KitOps properties from it so I can add other stuff to it. And so, with this selected, let's go into this plus button and I want to add four other objects to this because I know that I have up to five vertex paint colors I can use for D packs. I'm going to talk about those here in a second, but let's just go ahead add this insert let's move it down a little bit we'll go into here we'll add another one let's grab this one put him here move him down let's scale him in a little bit then let's grab this one a cylinder with a hole in it add insert here move it down and scale let's hit the S, scale it down move it actually let's put that right click kit ops relocate let's put it over here let's get it on this side so there's one, two, three, and we're going to add one more. Let's maybe add a, an array, this adjustable array. Let's take that. Let's move this down. Add insert something like this. Move it up. Scale it. Go into the kit apps, and let's just you know make it a little more. We'll just add a few more. Stick it farther back in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a bunch more colors to this object, but these are materials. So let's go ahead and let's add a base material to the object, okay? And then that's, so if I look at this, you'll see we've got one, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna basically take this and I'm gonna to add to this one, I will, I will create like this battleship gray. I'm going to add material, but look at this. It doesn't do anything. It didn't change it because that's an insert. But if I take that same battleship gray and add it to this object, let's go ahead and see where that is. Battleship mat. Oops, undo. I need to uh, add, add a slot for it. Battleship mat. Now it works just fine. Let's go back into this real quick. As I'm looking at this, I, I know I want to go into my modifiers and I want to turn on my this this bevel and I want to make that maybe like 16. I want everything to be a lot higher resolution for these, uh, especially if I'm doing any kind of displacement maps. So this 20, 24, move it in a little bit. There we are. This is 24. And this one is, let's do 96 on this. Okay, so that's good. So, okay, so now we have that material added. Let's go up here, let's take this object and let's add another material. I'm gonna add this yellow map, add material. Nothing happened, I'll select this, go back into my materials, add a new slot to this material, and then add a yellow mat, and now I've got that. So I've got one, two, three, come in here, and let's add a uh, light mat, add material, go back in here, add a slot, and we'll add the light mat here as well. And this works, by the way, this isn't just kit ops. This works with any uh, thing in Blender. If you've got a, a, a modifier that you're adding to something or subtracting to something, right, it'll actually create the faces for you by material. In fact, let's just delete this. Let's go ahead and, and show you what I'm talking about in a subtraction one. Let's just take this, and I'm going to add that insert right here. Scroll it down. Move it in. Let's turn off my face orientation. Scale. Okay, so this insert, we're going to add a... Uh, color, we'll add a red mat, add material. Nothing happened. We come in here and we, of course, add the red map now, and you can see what happens. So that gives us, we have now one, two, three, four, five. So we have five or five colors. That's how we want to start. So this is our insert. We've, we've bro broken it down to materials first. Uh, and I'll explain that here in a bit. But once this is done, power save what we're doing real quick and let's select this and then let's go in here and say uh, convert to mesh okay once that's done let's hit the M key put it make a new collection let's call it D pack and there we have it and then uh, take these inserts right click on this and delete here hierarchy and we have our object as set so now we're ready to talk a little bit about vertex mapping and, and how that works. So before we get started, let's take a look at how we can preview vertex mapping. So we're gonna go into this mode right here, our solid mode, and we'll go and we'll hit click this vertex button. And now we're in vertex mapping mode, right? So if I go into Z, you'll see that, you see we have all these vertices, right? And they can be selected and all kinds of things. So I can go into this vertex paint mode 
and I can choose any color I want and I can start painting. But as you can see, the painting is really kind of bizarre, meaning you can't just pick a face and paint it. It doesn't work that way. So what do you have to do? Well, in order to do that, you have to separate these objects. So, so I'm going to go back into uh, edit mode. I'm going to hit one, select this, command plus. And with these faces selected, I'll hit the P key and I'll separate by selection. So now, now we have another object over here. So I'm gonna go back into object mode. You can see we have this. And with this object selected, I can go back into vertex mode. And by the way, control tab will give us these. So it's a little easier, but I can go back in here, choose a color, and I can just start painting, right? So I can paint and I have to make sure I get all the vertices selected. And once I do, you know, I've got it done, right? Or the other thing I can do is I can just go over here and say paint, set vertex colors, and it'll get everything, right? So that's that's two different ways of doing that. So you can just select the whole thing and do that. And then I gotta come back and join all this stuff back, right? So I'm gonna undo all that. I'm gonna undo back to where we were. And let's let's talk about how we can expedite this process a little bit, right? So the way, so what we need to do is we need to use Anthony's crayon add-on, right? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna look at this object and it's gonna look at all these materials and I'm gonna hit load materials and I've got one, two, three, four, five, five materials. And I'm gonna set each one to a different color and these are already programmed for you. White, gray 75, gray, these are the ones that we use for simple sci-fi, so. And then once we've done that, let's go back into here, you can see, once I've done that, I say map colors by material and it's gonna split by materials too. So once I do that, boom, instantly I've got a really nice and ready to go D-pack object, right? So <clears throat> what do we do? Well, let's do this. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, uh, by the way, he also, notice he also reset the origin of the bottom, which is critical, right? You want, you want that bottom to be reset correctly. So he did that also. So that's, this is a, that's, it's a $5 add-on, but it's worth it for doing all these things if you're trying to do this stuff. Now that I have KitOps, I can do this with KitOps free or KitOps, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go into my Geo stuff K-Pack, and with that selected, with this selected, I'm just gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna say, Kit Ops, create insert, use the, uh, use the bottom, or use the, the object origin, which is what's already set. So in doing that, what I'm gonna do is it's gonna actually take whatever current K-Pack I've got set, and it's gonna make a thumbnail and put that object right in there. So I've got that set. So now, I'm gonna open Simple Sci-Fi. So let's, let's go to 38pro.blend, and here we have it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'll go into any of my D-Packs. I can create a new new one uh, if I want. In fact, let's just do that. Let's just create a new D-Pack. So I'm gonna create a new collection. I'll call it uh, Fred D-Pack. And with this selected, I'm gonna come in here and I am going to find that Geo stuff one. And there's my object. And I don't want anything else selected in the scene. So I'll turn this on to make sure I got nothing selected. There's something. Two A's, select nothing, and then I'll just say add insert. And whoa, it came in really large. So I wanna scale that down, move it over, and let's look at some of these others, Deepax Pro, let's look at some of these. So I'm gonna turn this one on, and you can see the scale of these. So I'm gonna take this object, here's all these Deepax, I'm gonna take this object, and I'm gonna scale him down to something that, you know, is roughly about the same size as these. Uh, and this is our Fred Deepak. And he can be a bottom or top, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll probably make him a top for now. And, uh, but you can see that uh, he's got the wrong material sign. If I look at him, that it's got all these materials still assigned. So what I wanna do is I wanna take any of these other ones that's got these, oops, that's not what I want. I wanna look at, uh, that's not what I want. That's one of the shape D-packs. I wanna look at one of the gen D-packs. So let's grab this one. Let's turn all these off. And we'll go and we'll grab the uh, Gen D pack. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's go to the top view. Take our object here. G, move it over here. Okay, and maybe we scale a little more to be about around the same size as these. And then, and then what I'll do is I'll Control A, and I'll basically apply that scale. And with that set, you know, it doesn't really matter where you're storing these things. You can put them anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. Let's turn these off again. D pack Pro. We'll turn these off. And now we have our Fred D-Pack, right? So that's just one. I'm gonna turn Fred D-Pack off and my inserts, I don't, let's see, this one is right there. Actually, this is the uh, 
this needs to go into Fred D. Pack. So let's put that in there. So make sure that you do that. And then you can delete the inserts because we just added that. So let's go back in. So you can see now in Fred D. Pack, there he is. So that's good. So I'll hit the zero button, go back into my rendered view. And then what I'll do is let's go into turn off shapes gen. We'll go into GeoGen. And let's select GeoGen. In my modifiers here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this as bottom but I'm gonna turn it off, uh, density to zero. And then in the top, I'll go ahead and let's just select Fred. And then with Fred selected, I can change the density and the size. So you can see what's happening is that this generator actually generates it and rotates it around. It doesn't adjust the X and the Y proportion. Everything stays proportional. Now, if I want, I can add more items into here. And in fact, you know, might just go ahead and turn on, let's put, uh, some top ones, let's see, this industrial top one. We'll turn that on and I'll just select one, hit the period on my numpad to find it. And let's just take that and say Shift D, Y, drag it down here somewhere, just move it, you know, somewhere where, where this is. And then we're gonna say move, M for move, and we're gonna move that to the Fred D pack. Now look, that one's in here, right? So I can duplicate Shift D in I want and then just move them to that D pack, and I'm going to end up getting getting stuff, you know. There, uh, you know. Let's just go back into kind of a rendered view. You can see this is our, this is our, you know, kind of our rendered view of that. And you can see that uh, if we go into our modifiers here for this object, let's go in here and let's do the material preview. So now you can see that we have a material preview, and let's change this from. Uh, let's just go into this gen material. And what I'll do is I'm gonna turn off the mix completely. So you can kind of see, and I wanna turn off, I'm gonna turn off actually the bevel completely. So I'll just unhook that. And now we just show, you know, the colors. And you can see each one of the vertex colors on our new D-Pack item has a different color, right? So I can just come in here, of course, and adjust this however I want. And I will be changing any of those that I see, you know, so, so that's how, how that works. So it gives you ability to control all of these at once. Just take your object and map materials to it, then use the crayon add-on to update the vertex colors, and uh, and then just add it into simple sci-fi and save it out, uh, and you're good to go. So that's how you make a D-pack. Thanks for watching. Bye.